why create a brand identity? I just got back from BrandCon and this is what I learned. Bottom line, no two experts can agree on the same foundations of why it's so important to build a brand identity. <laughs> that pretty much means it's incredibly important. There's so many different reasons why you need to build your brand identity online. And in this video, we're gonna go over a few of them. First, we'll cover the three types of brand trust. Then we'll talk about your brand as your customer's best friend. And we'll talk about the power of twinning. <laughs> There are three types of trust you need to build with your brand. So every time you're creating content, every time you're putting your brand out into the world, you have to be playing into all three of these different types of trust. The first type of trust is emotional trust. You want to make sure that your brand is seen as caring for its community, caring for its customers. We can show that we care by highlighting their successes, by highlighting their questions and their obstacles and helping show them solutions, and we can also build this emotional trust by talking about our bigger values, the things that are outside of the products and services we provide and are more in line with what we care about and what we think on a much larger scale. So for example, in the visibility hacking world, we care deeply about our environment. We care deeply about the space around us. And so we contribute our money and our time towards those types of community building programs. We like to highlight that as part of the content we put out with our brand, therefore showing how the visibility hacking world cares about our community and about our customers. The second area of trust is under, is helping our people understand that we stay true to our values. Our customers want to know that we are authentic. We are in line with what we say. Our actions complement the words that we talk. We're not just talking the talk, we're walking the walk too. So put your money where your mouth is. When you're talking about taking big leaps and you push your people to take big leaps, then you should be taking big leaps too. Highlight that as part of your content. The third area of trust is dependability. And we can show dependability by showing that we follow through on what we say we'll do, that we'll deliver on our stated benefits. The way we can do this through content is by highlighting testimonials and case studies of our students. In Live Academy, for example, our students build out these really amazing shows. And so we like to highlight the successes that those shows are having and show those shows. That's a lot of show. Show, show, show. You should join us for the show show. If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel. Uh, you definitely want to come along for the journey. All new videos every single week. But also, join us in the visibility hacking community. We'll tell you more about that later on in this video. You are more likely to trust the opinions of your friend than you are some random stranger. That's the same on the internet too. When you are perceived as your customer's best friend, as someone who they trust, who they can rely on, they're more likely to trust your opinion and your influence than if you were just some random person on the internet. So we have to make sure that we, as our brands, and as showcase the personality behind that brand, become your customer's best friend. So this means engaging in things that aren't just about the products and services that you sell. It's not just highlighting your brand successes and highlighting your involvement in the community, but it's also about just engaging with content in other groups and in other people's content. Engage in those communities. Show that you are not just the best thing since sliced bread, but that you also are a person and personality that you showcase that side of your brand is absolutely essential to becoming that best friend for your people. Talking about best friends, we have a place for all of our best friends, our visibility hackers, to join us in the Visibility Hacking Facebook group. The links are down below, but the quickest way for you guys to join us is to head over to visibilityhacking.com, click the button at the top of the page, and become an official visibility hacker. It'll bring you into our awesome Facebook group, 
just answer a couple questions first and you'll be invited in. Oh, I love hanging out with all our visibility hackers. There's so much on the channel that you guys are going to love. But enough about that. Go check it out. Let's get back to the video. Now we've talked about dependability. So let's talk about the power of twinning, making sure that the brand content that we're putting out there is cohesive with the stuff that we're actually selling on the back end. Not only is our brand visually going to be cohesive between those two sides of the fence, but it's also going to help actually bring our people to their tangible result. There is intent behind the front of the fence and the back of the fence. There's intent behind every single action our people are taking. Every piece of content that you're putting out there should fall into that same journey, that same journey of intent. So we have to make sure that we understand what types of content we should be putting out there, where we want our people to go, what are the results that we get people, and what are our programs and steps along the way that we can offer as solutions for our people's problems. That is essential to understanding how we influence our people's decisions, how we build that brand recognition. It's not just about being that personal brand, not just about appearing as the expert in your niche or appearing as the dependable person, but it's also about showing up. That's the other side of the fence. So making sure that everything you do in your personal brand is in alignment with the money-making strategies you want to use, the way that you want to actually implement that influence to build your brand. A brand is not just a pretty picture, it's the machine behind it. So if you want to know how to build your big brand, how to show up online, you got to start by understanding where you are relative to where you could be. And to help you guys out, I've put together a live stream analysis and I want you to take it. I want you to check it in the links down below, download it, print it off if you want to, and I want you to go through all of them. Give yourselves a score from zero to 100. And if you don't feel like your final score is in alignment with the top quality of your brand and of the solutions that you can provide for your people, if you don't feel like those are in alignment, I want you to join us for Live Academy. The live stream analysis is there to show you what is possible. And if you have a low score on that analysis, it's totally okay. What it means is that you have so much room to grow and that Live Academy is an incredible solution for you. So check the links down below, download the live stream analysis, check it out, and while you're doing it, you can check out this next video. I'll see you there. Until then, remember I love you, be excellent to each other, and just go live.